Hello everyone, today's DIY video I'm going to talk about how to fix Insta360, the One RS blurry lenses. Insta360 lenses is great lenses, but the only problem is this the lenses front and back are very easily to be scratched, especially the front glasses when facing the outside. When I put the new lenses on, I still get blurry image. That is really frustrating me. Comments from Amazon and also uh, AliExpress. And a lot of people explain this frustration as well. So when they switch the new lenses, they got a blurry image. So in today's DIY, I'm going to address that to see if I can fix this blurry image by ourselves. So let's draw a picture here. This is the outside uh, lens cap, right? And what's the inside here, you can visually see this is uh, lenses here. I think this is a combine of lenses, as you can see from here, inside. And after that, there's a 45 degrees reflector. So basically, the light paths come out from all the way to here, here. And eventually, they will go bouncing straight forward to uh, 90 degrees. So when it hits 90 degrees, this is uh, a tunnel. A black tunnel it will reach a final lenses this final final lenses eventually will go to the uh, a CCD sensor this is the CCD sensor on the side and eventually the image will go to the processor there's a two part the first is this lens cap that is a scratch coming out and uh, also, don't forget, this is also very important. This is a module that inside to translate all those lights into the CCD. So when you replace this lens cap, this lens cap might not be the original. You see, even it is original, I tried it. If I put the, the front original to the back of the original lenses, still I have blurry image. So that means Although the outside lens cap are identical for front and the back, but the inside module might be slightly different for the two. This is why you even have the original front lens cap you put to the back or back to the front, they might not work perfectly. You still have to fine tune. So in this case, we purchased a third party lens glasses and uh, you can imagine how much you should fine tune this inside module. If you just by chance, this one whole thing works, you are perfect. But if not, then you have to adjust this module by yourself. This is the whole theory behind this DIY fix. So the next, let's go to the detail. So after you remove the cover from the lenses, there's a two screw inside the heavy silicon. So you first you have just to remove all of those silicon and took out those screw. So the next thing is just to pop out these lenses very gently. Now you see this outside shell is also off these lenses. So now the next thing what you need to do is to remove there's two side screw here and they put a heavy glue on it and you have to use a little bit of force. So the 360 will take from this angle and mirror it, 45 degrees mirror it, and also coming out all the image from the side part. So now the back glasses just showing the cameras. You see my studios here as my cameras is here, my lights is here, but everything is blurred. See that if I just pull these circuits out, what you can see in the screen is that it gets blur, right? But if I just keep pushing, pushing, just a little bit, as you can see that, it gets a little bit clear now. At this point, you can even see the scratches on the outside layer of the glasses. If I just pull more out, the focus becomes more nearsighted, right? If I keep pushing the circuits in, it becomes more farsighted. 
until I reach to the limits, which I still get the blurry image. So this makes me to think, is there any room that I can keep pushing, pushing until these lenses get far-sighted? In order to shorten the distance between the CCD and these receiving glasses, the only way we can do is to using a small knife, just a little bit of cut off the edge of this one. It really needs very fine surgery. Cut off a little bit of edges of this guy. See, I'm going to do that and make sure you don't cut the lenses. I think this surgery is pretty tough. You have to do very carefully. And at the same time, I think I also need to cut a little bit of edges of this uh, pole. So I just using this one to sand this one a little bit. Okay, put this one on and assemble lenses. Immediately clear. Wow, just by chop off that tiny little rim, I fix the blurry image myself. So I'm going to put everything back and uh, test it on the outside field and just uh, update you guys shortly. If you are still watching my video right now, please give a thumb up since I really spend a lot of time on the solution of these uh, uh, lenses. Or subscribe to my channel, that really help my channel to grow. Thanks a lot. Let's continue. As we can see the results from the field, we know that uh, the upper part has sort of like blurring image than the lower part. The lower part is perfectly fine. So we need to continue to address what's causing this. So we know it's this portion that is causing blurry. But when it goes through this tunnel to the CCD image sensor, I don't know if they're flipped or not. So the quick test I did is just using a very sharp knife and leave a gap in this tunnel. As you can see that if I just go through this way you see that? So now we understand this upper part will eventually to the upper side of this tunnel. So there's no flippering there. Exam carefully on this side if I cut too much or just cut too less. So I need to um, exam very carefully. This distance is such small things that I really can't tell the difference. So the only thing I suspect is that maybe this little screw, when I tighten it on this side, maybe tighten too much, or on this side, maybe tighten too much. So now I flip the camera, so in order to have a good view of the, the little thing here, and uh, I think this is the upper part, this is the lower part. It is this part that's causing the short-sighted. So maybe I should just tighten a little bit, more than the other side? I don't know. I just give some a try here. So, and on this side, maybe I just loosen a little bit. So definitely we are dealing with opticals here. Uh, be very patient. I think I'm going to give another try. So I find the best way to test this is just to like lay down your camera like this and uh, rotate your lenses. As you can see that I rotate and by checking the image from all the corner to see if they are clear or not. So we can visually check the clearance. So one more thing I have to mention is that after the fix I think the gyro might have the problem. So you need to go back to the setting and the general and do a gyro calibration. You just put upward and start five seconds test. The calibration success. So only this way you can have a good gyro information. You see right now everything is stable now. They don't 
try to sway here and there, everything is fine. Alright, let's do a quick summarize of today's DIY video. Number one, if you just happen to purchase the front lenses or back lenses, the chances are 50 to 50. You might work, it might not. If it's blurred, that means your internal module and doesn't work with these third-party lenses, then you have to use my DIY way just to do the adjustment. This procedure is very tedious and boring, and you have to really make a big mind before you deep dive into this process. Since this internal module is not going to work with your glasses, you have nothing to lose. Fail success is also depends you on your ability and patience. It's also 50 to 50. And the last resort is good to always purchase lenses and internal module set. This solution is hassle free and it's guaranteed it should work. All right, that is today's DIY video. It took me a lot of time to figure it out. So if you just like my video, please give a thumb up or just leave your valuable comments. Thank you for watching.